Welcome. I'm going to demonstrate the etiquette you should adopt when trying to meet, when meeting with your patient. The deal is this. You want your patient to feel as comfortable as they can with you. You want to treat them as you treat a family member. You want to make them feel happy and feel safe. And that, of course, brings you closer to passing your examination. Of course, you have to establish you know, proficiency in your physical exam and your history taking. But if you make the patient feel very comfortable with you, even as you enter the room, you're well on your way to succeeding on the exam. So I'm going to demonstrate all of that. Firstly, you want to knock on the door. Of course, there's uh, the patient's information right outside the door. You want to know the patient's name, very important. You want to take down the patient's information, the chief complaint, the vitals and all of that. Uh, and then you knock on the door, open the door and smile. A genuine smile. Try to involve your eyes in the smile. And you call their name. Confirm that patient is the patient. Okay, so for example, like Mr. Heskowitz, he says yes, and you come in, you introduce yourself. I am doctor. Mention your name and explain your role. So I'm here to take a physical, to do a history, take a physical examination, and see what I can do for you today. And ask their permission, is that okay? That's the first part of it. And you do this while smiling. Now, once you enter a patient's room, it's a good idea, if you can, to sanitize your hands. Take into consideration if it's an emergency case or an office case. In an emergency case, after you've done the initial greeting, like I have previously described, you stand and you take a history and physical examination. Because in the emergency room, you're not going to sit down and look at a patient. The patient is going to be having severe headache or severe abdominal pain or severe chest pain. So you don't want to waste too much time on the pleasantries. Again, greet the patient. Make sure he's a, he's a patient by saying his name. Introduce yourself, explain your role. If it's an emergency case, just stand and begin to take a history of the patient as much as you can and go into physical examination. If, if it is an office case, however, you're going to greet the patient, make them feel happy, just like I've described earlier. And then ask them permission to sit down. So after everything, you're gonna, you just turn to them and ask them, okay, so I'm going to sit down, okay? Uh, is that okay? They'll say, fine, you sit down. And then you're going to tell them that you're going to write, if that's fine with them. Usually, the way I like to say it is this. I would like to write as we're talking, okay? I'm going to give you my full attention. I just want to be able to remember everything you've said and, you know, give you the best care I can today. And the patient will be happy with that, and you'll get their approval. And from there, you can, take it, you can take it on from there. So I'm going to demonstrate these things that I have described. Okay. So to demonstrate what I had said earlier, just assume I'm outside the patient's door. Okay? Just use your imagination. I'm outside the patient's door. I've seen patient's information, which I've taken down. And then I knock. Come in. He tells me to come in. I come in. Mr. Heskowitz? Yes. Oh, good morning. My name good is morning. Dr. Ibe. Good morning. Nice okay. I'm going to be very nice to meet you as well. So I'm going to be your medical doctor for today. I'm going to take a quick history from you, do a physical examination, okay, and try to help you out, okay? You said you had pain in your belly from the information I saw outside, yes, right? Yes, my stomach's been bothering. Okay, so I'm going to do what I can for you and try and get you some relief, okay? Is that fine? All right. Thank you very much. And that is where the setting comes into play. If you're in the office or in the ER. Of course, when you enter, you don't want to touch the patient until you've sanitized or washed your hand or worn a glove. So you can go ahead, sanitize your hand. Okay. And then you can engage the patient in small talk. So is it too hot or cold in this room today? No, it's okay. All right. I'll, sorry, my hands are still wet. I just want to make sure they are dry before I shake your hand, okay? Perfectly dry. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, okay? So if it's emergency room, I'm going to just go straight into my history and physical examination. I'm just going to take my history real quick, okay? Do a quick physical examination and get you some relief, okay? And then I start. If it's office, 
I have time. I'm just going to tell him and be as polite as possible. All right, so is it okay if I sit down? Please. All right, thank you very much. As we talk, I will be writing, okay? I'm giving you my full attention. I just want to be able to remember and accurately, you know, document what you've told me, okay? Or what you'll be telling me. Is that fine? Yes. Okay, and then you begin taking your history and go to your physical examination, okay? If you do this, patient is going to be happy with you and you gain the patient's approval and you're well on your way to passing the exam. Thank you very much.